and welcome to a brand new episode of Make Up Level Up. Now today, I need to admit something, I'm still kind of obsessed with Resident Evil Village, so the next couple of weeks we're going to be doing some Resident Evil Village stuff, and today we are starting off with Mother Miranda, as you will be able to tell from the title and the thumb. Mother Miranda's look is actually perfect for Make Up Level Up, because it is just makeup, I don't have to do any kind of like iconography, themes, translation, it's just a makeup look which is great and to be honest I admire any villain who can maintain a flawless makeup look while also being you know threatening, sneaky, crafty, transforming into different objects with the blink of an eye. I just think it's a talent. So today for Makeup Level Up the look is based hey, a replica of Mother Miranda from Resident Evil Village. Spoiler alert, I'm going to be dropping some footage and details about Mother Miranda from the end of the game, so if you haven't finished Resident Evil Village, avert your gaze now. Mother Miranda is the big bad behind the events of Resident Evil Village and is such an icon that it was her research on the mold that led to the creation of the Umbrella Corporation in the first place. A scientist at heart, Mother Miranda doesn't let anything petty like ethics get in her way when she's trying to create a new vessel for her daughter. And she does all this murdering, plotting and shape-shifting, because yes, that is her power, in her very own smoky eye and glossy lip. While I advise you not to mimic her in the murdering and unethical experimentation sense, we are going to get down and dirty with the mould and replicate her makeup in today's episode of Makeup Level Up. Raven feathers and giant gold headdresses are optional. As always, the first thing we're going to do is prep those eyelids, but before that I have a quick PSA note that's very important you pay attention to. Make sure you apply sunscreen regularly every single day. I've started doing it recently because I'm trying to take more responsibility for my skin, and I just feel like we've got a relationship going, we, we understand each other, make sure you apply sunscreen. Anyway, we're now going to put on some concealer and prep these eyelids. Eyelids are prepped and this is great because this episode is actually going to serve as a way for me to stretch out this denim jacket that I've had for ages and can't quite get to be a good fit. This look might look fairly simple and to be honest if Miranda can do it in the village, I wonder where she actually gets her makeup products. They do shipping over there? Maybe. But if Miranda can do it in a cave in the village wherever it is she holds her experiments and her lab and stuff then we can do it. Miranda doesn't do things by halves, so her eyeshadow actually encompasses the entirety of her eye right up to the brow bone. So we're going to start with a kind of light grey brown colour and I'm just going to start filling in the top of my brow bone there. Because we're using black eventually in this look, I don't want to start with black because even though I think Miranda would appreciate the extremes I went to straight off, that will mean that it will just make it a lot harder to blend in and I'll probably get black on my cheeks and on all my brushes so we're going to start with the light colours at the top. So just using a light brush just fill in the top of your brow bones with a light grey brown. You also want a bit under your eyes as well because Miranda is like me, she's a fan of pulling eyeshadow right up to your lash line. Want to make sure it goes right up to the inside of your eye, just like Miranda. So now that we've done that as kind of the base layer, I'm now going to use a slightly darker brown. Still make sure it maintains like a bit of grey in it, if it's too colourful. So a darker grey brown, I'm just going to bring that down towards about here-ish, I think. So start low and then work it up so that you can make sure it blends into the lighter brown properly. Okay, the jacket wins. The jacket wins. Then you're going to get that same colour and just bring it in on the inside here. Not right into the corners like you did with the lighter colour because you want to keep that right there, but just from the middle inwards, just bring it in. I guess Mother Miranda doesn't even need, does she need makeup? She can shape shift, can she just shape shift different looks onto her face? Okay, with this darker colour, we're now going to actually briefly trace out the V that's going to happen because Mother Miranda's eyeshadow, like I said before, literally is just a spoon shape. 
you know, like if you hold a spoon, it's kind of like that on the side. So I'm going to use this darker colour to just broadly sketch out where that V starts and ends. Because judging by Miranda, she brings it super far out. Just bring this all the way out here. She follows the line of her eyebrow, it looks like, that just brings it down. So once again, don't make it a super clear edge here because you want to blend this back into your skin. You just want a vague template so then you can use it to make sure you're going in the right way with the black. I think it's time to bring in the black. I think. I feel like we need a little bit more depth to this on our eyes though. So before we do that, I'm just gonna get an even darker brown. It's got a little bit of red to it, this one, the tiniest bit. I'm gonna put that just underneath this layer here. Just here. You can see it's a darker brown, just to kind of give it a bit more depth because the black isn't gonna go all the way over all of this. I also recently learned that you should not be putting coal on your waterline because it blocks up the glands there. So this is another PSA. Don't do what I did in previous videos and put coal on your waterline here or up here because it's not good for your eyes apparently and uh, might look good, but you're gonna wanna keep your eyes as long as possible, I'd assume. Now the black on the bottom is pretty harsh, so I'm not gonna add any brown there because it is on this picture that I have, that I keep looking at. It is, yeah, pretty harsh. So instead, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of brown just at the edges here around the diamond, just so that the black has something to fade into. But once again, don't pull it all the way to the edges. She says as she accidentally put it all, puts it all the way to the edges. Make sure you blend with the right side of the brush. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna dive in with the black. I have a flat brush here because I wanna kinda of just print it on and see how it goes. So we're gonna start right at the lash line with this black color and we're gonna work it up very gently and very slowly. Now I'm gonna blend this in just so you don't go too overboard too quickly. You want to keep doing that, you want to keep applying it and blending it and applying it and blending it to make sure you have a gradual increase of it, just to make sure that you don't kind of go overboard and get it where it doesn't need to go. Mother Miranda's black eyeshadow goes up quite high here and then dives down, so that's why you'll see there's more black here before it goes gently down into the diamond right at the side. I'd say that diamond's fine at the moment. She has it a little more defined along the bottom, but the danger of that is that it just looks kind of drawn on and cheap, but let's give it a go. I think that's good. I think that's good. Allow me just to watch a quick video of Mother Miranda in action. Just looked at some footage of her in action of ripping out Ethan's heart. I mean, I'm next in line, hopefully. She actually has a really harsh flick, so I'm now gonna just bring this out even more to the side. Should have added a bit more brown to bring this out. But it is, it's fucking car man, so let's just bring this out even further. And this is why you're careful when you work with black eyeshadow. I feel like a little bit like a panda, but it's, it's probably fine. It'll be worth it in the end. I hope. I really, really hope. Sure. Okay. That's the eye we're going to go with. That's the stunt. We got the flick. I'm now going to do the other eye, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the lips, which I don't think I've actually ever done on an episode of Mulu, which is what I call makeup level up in my head. Let's do it. There we go. Foundation is added. I've also added some highlighter here and here to try and give it kind of an ethereal look to mimic Mother Miranda's general oddly perfect skin thanks to I assume the mold, which is the first time I've heard of mold helping with skin issues. But anyway, that's this done. You'll notice that I haven't done tons to my eyebrows. That's because Mother Miranda's eyebrows are kind of like 
old timey saints. They're not super dark, they're really light. So I just did a tiny bit at the front and at the ends just to kind of bring them up a little bit, but not nearly as dark as I usually have them. I have vaseline my lips up. I'm now gonna use a shade called Resin by Anastasia Beverly Hills because, as I was saying, Mother Miranda's lipstick is kind of gray, pink, brownie in color. So I'm gonna go first with this, and then I'm gonna put a very light layer of gloss over the top to try and get that sheen that she has. Now you'll see that I've kind of put on foundation around the outsides of my lips, so this should hopefully go on clean. I blotted the edges with my fingers just to make sure there wasn't a super harsh line where my lips end and my skin begins. Lips are part of skin, right? Because Mother Miranda doesn't have a clean lip line, unlike Lady Dumitrescu, so that's why I did that bit right there. Yes, that's how sentences work. I'm now gonna add a very light layer of lip gloss over the top just to give it a little more depth and a tiny bit of shine. And it's taking every single inch of willpower in me not to put an entire layer of lip gloss on because I love this lip gloss so much, but I'm gonna keep it like that. There you have it. This is the Mother Miranda look. I think I could have gone a little bit less with the black on the eyeshadow just because I feel like this one is better than this one, but it should have been faded out more to brown on the edges rather than straight up black. But you live and you learn. Or in Miranda's case, you undead and you learn Is of the mold. I'm not entirely sure. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Make Up Level Up. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to Eurogamer as we have a new video out about video games every single damn day. And every Saturday, you'll get a new episode of Make Up Level Up. You can also follow us on Instagram at Team Eurogamer to get daily updates about videos we have coming out, streams and behind the scenes glimpses as well, as well as glimpses of some merch coming up, which I am very invested in. If you feel so inclined, you can also follow me at Twitch at Zoe underscore Dells and Instagram at Zoe underscore Dells to see the other makeup looks that I do. So now I'm gonna go and get the bus home with this look on, probably get lipstick all over the inside of my silk face mask, and most importantly, I'll see you next time.